All right, YouTube, today, working on Galaxy Saturn Turbo. It's an older radio. And uh, I'm getting it ready for sale to be sold. Everything's functional on it except for the memory uh, because the uh, memory battery, uh, which is a, um, a CR2032, it's a solder on type, was bad. Um, so I'm going to replace it. But uh, instead of replacing it with this style, I'm going to replace it with something that I found that I thought would be really cool. So on Amazon, they sell these um, CR2032 holders with wires. And they're only a couple dollars, six, seven dollars for a uh, pack of five. So literally, uh, you can take this, and it even has an on-off switch, which I didn't realize. But uh, you can take this and double stick tape it to the inside of the radio, put a battery in it, solder your wires, and then you'll never have to desolder anything again. When the battery goes bad, you just pop the little cover open. And uh, put a new battery in it. And you could use this for anything. Anything that has a memory battery or you can even wire up little LED lights to it since it has an on off switch. <clears throat> that, that on off switch would actually be kind of convenient if you're, uh, you want to reset the memory. You can just switch it off and switch it back on. You don't have to take the battery out. Just a neat little thing. But uh, I'm going to solder this in and double stick tape it somewhere. And uh, hopefully that will solve our memory issues. Alright, so getting ready to mount this in. The radio is standing on its end. This is the back of the board here. Um, you have a terminal there and a terminal there. This, uh, this old coin cell used to be soldered in there like that. So this one up here says... Um, there's no there's no markings this says V minus but it has nothing to do with the battery orientation so what I did was a quick check was I took my multimeter to find out which one's negative and you can touch the the grant the the boards are grounded through these standoffs so I'm just gonna touch right here and then I'm gonna touch this pad and that's the same thing so that's got to be negative and then when you touch this one you get nothing so that's the positive so come in here and we'll uh, solder these on try to do this so y'all can see without burning myself or melting anything there we go Try to be quick and deliberate with this because you don't want to overheat these pads. There you go. Take a little bit of ISO. Clean up the surface. stick 3a 3m vhb So, I mounted the little speaker right there. Not gonna hurt anything. Mounted the battery thing here. Open her up. We'll stick a battery in it. Got these Energizer 2032s. And they have this little, little tape on the bottom. Don't forget to take that off. And slide her into place. Look at that. 
That's sweet. And we got nothing. So that little switch on the back of the thing must be off. 3.27. Perfect. All right. Now let's plug the uh, radio in and see what we get. All right. So now that you've installed the battery, you can put your you can put your memory channels in. I have two programmed here. I have that one, 27185 and 27135. Now when you turn the radio off and turn it back on, your memories are still there. Before they didn't have that. So just a quick easy way of replacing the memory battery on your 2950, 2970 series radios with this digital setup. So, hope that helps you guys, and we'll catch you on the next video.